Oops. So, uh, hi guys. Good afternoon. Um, so this is uh, day day two of week eight, and we're gonna have a session on uh, like Notion database and how we can use it for ticketing and so on. Yes, Tarafa. Yeah, thank you, Kirud. Maybe it's not usual to ask question just before the, the starting of the lesson yeah, sure. or the tour. Uh, but it yeah. is the follow-up question from the last time, uh, Titor. Like, uh, can we do this assignment and this week challenge on the uh, already existing uh, notion, or we need to create the new one? Maybe this is my question. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, what do you mean by new one? So do, do you mean a new workspace or a new uh, account? A new account. No, 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 no. You, you don't need to create a new account. You just need to create a new workspace or even, uh, it's okay if you don't create a new workspace. You just, uh, so we will see. Just uh, remind me when we start the session, uh, when we start the practical session and out. So if we just share what you have invited us to see, it doesn't share everything. So uh, we just want to create a new workspace, or even if you don't want to create a new workspace, you can just uh, create a new page and just uh, use that as your landing page and create the answers as well and share the landing page. OK, let's get started. Uh, Okay, so we're gonna have a session on uh, like uh, like the notion database uh, and how we're gonna use it for uh, ticketing, uh, project planning, and project ma management. Um, okay, one second. I think there is noise. Okay. Uh, okay, let's get started. Uh, so, Notion database. So, uh, I believe, uh, like, take, I believe some of uh, like the trainers here are from tech background, so they understand it. But what the database means is uh, just a file management a system for managing data. So, just think of it as a table. So, Database, you, you can just have a table. Um, if you have used uh, like access points uh, or some, sometimes even like uh, Excel, you can consider it as uh, database. So you can just uh, consider it as table. Some of them are organized, some of them are uh, non organized. But just as a, at the core of it, it's just a flexible, customizable system for uh, managing data. So, you you can uh, use it in a lot of way. You you can use it for sorting, filtering, uh, uh, to have a different views, uh, to 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 see their relationships uh, from one to another, and rollups and so on. So in Notion da database, uh, we have different tables. Uh, in line table or full page, uh, we have a board view, calendar view, uh, gallery view, and li list view. These are just uh, the viewing methods of a database. But for the database, you can consider it as just a table. A table that you are going to store in your data. So we're going to see how we can create a database page, uh, name the database page, add properties to the database, customizing the properties, and populating the database, and modifying the interface. Um, OK. So, like uh, since it's not a lot, I was thinking about let's see, uh, like let's finish up the theoretical part and we will go to the practical side. So steps. So uh, and for ticketing, since uh, we are more focused on the project map management side of the project, we need to see how we can use it for project planning or project map management and so on. And at the core of uh, this project map management, we have uh, ticketing. So for the, the ticketing, it's still uh, the database, uh, 
uh, that is in a port view. And we have different elements, uh, things that we are planning to do that's, uh, that we are already doing and uh, that are done. And you, are, you, you could even have a QA and a and a blog and so on elements and uh, you, you can add properties like uh, who is assigned person uh, status uh, like status it, this is more of a select so status means is it the only to do in the progress and then and priority is it uh, like uh, like uh, medium priority high priority or low priority and so on so these are just optional so this just for example uh, and drag and drop tasks uh, across columns to show the progress from to, to do, you, you, you can just uh, drag and drop it to the progress. And from the in progress, you can just drag and drop it to the depth and so on. So that's uh, how you, you can use uh, Notion database for ticketing and uh, tracking issues. Uh, even like uh, you can even connect it with different uh, like tools such as GitHub issues just to manage uh, across the two sides for the two tools. And in order to enhance your ticketing uh, with database properties, you can uh, add uh, like uh, assignees uh, who the person who is responsible, uh, pri uh, priorities, uh, due dates, status, and so on. And yeah. Uh, for the project management, you can add uh, icons and covers, uh, task lists, uh, assigning tasks, uh, countdown timers. So we will see uh, how we can add these countdown timers and uh, we can view it as a timeline. Since uh, in project management, we need to see uh, like in a table, like in a cal calendar formats, we can use it and we can use the connecting to your database. So uh, once you have a database, you can just drag it and uh, like uh, connect it with different uh, like uh, pages in order to see the specific thing that's related to that. Okay. So we will see uh, that as well. Uh, so uh, was there any quick questions before we move on uh, to the practical session? I'm going to take that as a no. Let's get started. So let me just go to uh, Notion. Uh, let's just keep this one. Uh, so let me just switch to uh, my private mark. Um, okay, let's uh, yeah, just select one. Yeah. So this is just a workspace. Uh, okay. Just okay. So this is uh, like workspace that I was talking about earlier so you, you can create a new workspace if you want um, or if you want you can just uh, work with uh, this and create a new page so here if you want you can create a new workspace go through the process and uh, just get started with, with that one but if you want you can just create a new page so here uh, you can just create a new page yeah. and work, work, work with them. So uh, right now we're going to work on the database. So let's just call, uh, let, let's just name the database, database. Um, yeah, so we have the database. So here, what's, uh, so here, you can either click on uh, the plus sign or you can click on the plus sign and look for uh, database here. Uh, yeah, database, we have inline and full page. So we have included uh, what's inline full pages. So for the full page, it's going to create a sub page in the page and uh, give it the full page for that one. And inline is just create, it's going to create the page. Uh, sorry, the, the database in the page. So let's uh, take a look at both of them. So uh, for the inline, it's going to create the database inside the page. 
so it's not going to create a new page. But for uh, the full page, uh, full page is going to create a new page here. As you, as you can see, it's a new page. You can find the link for that database here. So it's going to be a new page. But uh, since we don't want that one, you can just uh, delete it. So we have our uh, database right here, right? So as I've told, told you, the, the database is not, it's nothing but uh, just a table. We have a table, we have rows, we have columns. Uh, so we, we, we call the columns properties and the rows entries. So we can name the database here, uh, events, and so on. You can just uh, do whatever you want with the title. Uh, here you can add, actually, uh, not here, but here. Here you can add uh, cover pages, uh, icons, and so on, and comments, but whatever you want. So what you can add a cover page of the event here, and so on. Um, so let's go to the property. So the first thing that we did was, um, so here we just talked about I can say it uh, covers, but we created the database page, uh, named the database, so we're gonna ask properties and customize the properties. So for instance, let's start with the name. So uh, I'm customizing the property. So here, let's say uh, first time. And in the property, uh, first name, what do you want it to, to be? So it's a text, actually, it's already. Why is it? Okay, it's a text. Uh, here, I want it to be, let's edit the property. Here, I want it to be last name. Oh. And uh, for the type, I'm going to select uh, text. Okay. So, text. Yeah, text. So, I passed it. So, text, uh, AI out of here is off, uh, rough, in view. Uh, and, yeah. and next thing that I want to do is uh, we, we can add, uh, let's say, yeah. phone number. Okay. Uh, and let the type it be number and so on, right? And let's add one. Uh, let's add one property which is, uh, um, let's say, ticket type. And for the type, I'm going to select uh, select. So I just want to select one thing. So I'm going to select uh, like two one. And here we can add, uh, let's say, um, okay, assign person. Okay, it's not going to make sense, but, uh, or, or, or instead of assigned person, yeah, okay. for the type, we're going to select person. And yeah, let this be the properties. So we have the properties, so we can uh, uh, like, uh, yeah, like add rows to them. So payload, uh, that's fine, uh, placing, uh, yeah, we can add new and, uh, and, uh, and so on. Just uh, to name some, I just wanted to name some of them. So here we have some uh, names, and for uh, like, let's just give them. Okay. And here, just the numbers, of course. So here, if I try to write uh, a like a letter, it's not going to accept because we are actually expecting numbers. So if you don't want to do that, you need to check the properties. 
the type of the data that is screened to accept it. So, yeah. Uh, and for the ticket type, we haven't added any options. So, let's add some options here. Um, we should be able to add options here. So, for the options, we have uh, regular. Uh, and VIP and uh, BVIP, and we can actually change their color. Let's uh, be like be red and regular be uh, gray. So just for it. So so here we can set the type of uh, the type of Ticket that we are going to have just uh, assigned. Out. So for the assigned person, uh, here you need to invite that person, or that person needs to be part of the project or the uh, work the workspace. So here it's not going to accept anything because I haven't added or I haven't invited anyone here. But if you have invited people here, you can actually uh, just go ahead and uh, it's good that we need to come here. And you can just go ahead and invite them. Just let's go ahead. Uh, example, say if I can go ahead and invite that person. Um, let me just add myself. Okay, I think I have some little tissue. But uh, yeah, and this guy should come here. And you can you will find that person here. It's going to next time. So uh, for now, let's leave the assigned person blank and let's get started. So we have created the table, we have created the properties, we have edited the properties, we have added the entries, and uh, and so on. So what's next on the list? Uh, so we have completed, we have modified the entries. So let's look, look at how we can do ticketing. So for ticketing, uh, we can just slash uh, board view. And when you click on board view, it's going to ask you to link the database here. Um, it's going to come. Uh, I am audible, right, guys? I think the little kiss a bit bad. Okay. I, I don't know why it's taking too long.
Okay, I think uh, let's move for there for a second. Am I audible now? Okay, can you see my screen? Uh, yeah, the network is here a big part. So I was just showing you a uh, board view. Uh, you can just create a board view in here. Uh, bring the database here, the name of the database. Uh, yeah, still having problems with the network. Let me just change, I think. Uh, can you see it? So here we have the event database, which is the same as this one. So I'm going to select the event one. And here you would see it has already uh, created the events for different uh, by, their, by their tickets. Uh, yeah, I think you guys. So if you have seen it, so here it has created the tickets based on their uh, their ticket type. But you can do that by uh, you can just change that property here. You can just uh, change the property so it's now uh, it's just showing the first name. But you can uh, do it for uh, the VIPs, the ticket types. Uh, and different things. So here, so here is going to show the name and the ticket type, uh, or or even like, let me go back. I think. Or even you can change the the property here directly from here. And, uh, so it's going to create the tickets for you automatically here. But if you want, what you can do is let me just uh, open a new one actually because the network is killing me. So, on board view, let me just uh, create a new board. And in this board, you have not started in progress and done. So, here you can just create uh, like a card drawing or Hit one, you can say it's not started and the assigned person is, uh, you can just select the assigned per person here. And for part yeah. uh, two, you can also assign a person here. So, so what I wanted to do here is, let's say I have another page. It can be a sub page or a new entirely new page. And it's going to be, uh since i added myself uh tasks and here i can actually uh i can go here and link view in database here i will uh, just oh i haven't named the database so here I have three cards, and two of them are uh, like one ticket, and two cards, and uh, two of them are assigned to me. So since this is just only for for me, I can filter it by assigned person, and I just want to see my tasks. So here you will see only my tasks. It's on a new page, uh, but it's going to connect with this data. So this is how you're going to connect. So here you can say uh, database and go to linked view in database. So uh, the, even though I just did this, I just applied the filter here, it's not going to change anything uh, that's visible from here. Still three cards, but uh, in my tasks, I just created, I just filtered them by. Uh, the name of the assignment. So you can do that as well if uh, you want. Ah, yeah. So uh, in board to do do it, the same percent start as priority. You can add these properties as we have seen earlier. Uh, 
class, uh, you can just drag and drop them uh, from one to another. So here, it's uh, in then started class. I just kind of just drag it in, drop it into in progress. If I go here, it's going to change the status here. It's uh, it's, it's going to automatically change the status. If I drag it and drop it to the den, it's going to automatically update it in the alternate. So if you manipulate the table, it's going to show. But if you just apply the filter, it's not going to show. So here. Sorry, I, I was on mute. Uh, sorry, yeah. So I'm back. So do you have any questions? Yes, David. David. Um, I only have one request. Kindly just redo specifically the part where you started the ticketing when you added the board view. When I added the board view? Yeah, when you added so the board view. Just after creating the database, when you're oh. in the board view, so, so that you start the ticketing process. Yeah, just uh, click, uh, like click add or write backslash and uh, board view. Sorry. Ah. Board view. And when you create the board view, it's going to ask you to link to it, a, a database that you already have. So from the database, you can choose. Uh, whichever database you want, or you can just start uh, from uh, the beginning and work. So th this is a, a table view, or <laughs> let me just go back. So yeah, it's a board. View. So this is how you can create a ticket. So here we, we can move them from one ticket to the other. No, we can uh, transfer them from one property to other. And so, so that's how you create the both rewards the tickets. If you want to filter them, uh, okay. so you can filter them by the phone number. Uh, so here you can see. Uh, what whose number is greater than or less than <laughs> greater than let's say three sorry uh three so here only two people are here no i i mean less than three only two people are here if i say greater than three it's going to show us two people again and if i say less than or equal to and so on so these are just filter uses. They are not going to affect uh, anything. But yeah. Okay. Any other questions, guys? Questions? If you have about database and ticketing. Okay. Uh, and the other thing I want to see is uh, so we have created the tickets. 
uh, we have done this thing. So we have task leads, uh, assign tasks. So you can just assign. So here, since I am only the only user here, I cannot assign anyone else uh, but me. So here, you can assign the, tar the person. And here, you can just change, add a property here. Let's say uh, anything you want. You can add them here and define their properties as we did on the table. It's the same thing. If we add another property here, it's going to also add the property on the table. So let's say uh, I want to event it. And it's going to be dates. Yeah. So if I add event dates and change the event date here, so I should be able to see it in the database. So here it's going to automatically add event dates and assign per person we have because I assigned myself. And uh, assign tasks, uh, timeline, and task view. So here, so I know it's we are doing it on, on one page, but you can do it in another page. Uh, so here you can say, uh, here you, you have the table view, uh, the list view. So here, if I create the list view, I'm going to have the list of the events. So uh, it's assigned by first name automatically, but you can change that. Here, we should be able to change it here. Okay. Here, you should be able to change it. Uh, what I want to see is last name, and I don't want to see the first name. But since it's a title, it's not going to allow you. It's locked here, so you can add both of them right so here uh okay, i think the way i put it is not correct properties last name should come after the first so here we have the first name and the last name and so so this you can use this for to list the tasks if you are working on tasks but since it's just event uh it's not going to be the same thing uh, timeline view is just a calendar view so here, if you have added uh, the dates, you can see the tasks. But since we haven't added the tasks, only Kevin is going to be uh, seen. So let's change that one. Um, let's say for Kevin, uh, we have the end dates and the event dates. Let's add. Or is a deep type? I want to end it. And here, let's just say uh, 15%. So it should show us on the side of the view. So, right. so here we are on the 17th, and it should go to even that's. Okay. It's but I don't want to do that. Okay, here we can add um, end dates. Let's say I want to do this like this. So we should be able, yeah. So it's going to show us the timeline of table, which is we which is going to start from the 17th and by end on the 17th. So we can use this to track projects for event planning. So here we have the list of tasks. Uh, we can assign persons by 
that directly writing at at sign and it's going to mention that person you can uh, give them the tasks there but it's not recommended it's recommended to give them tickets. okay uh, so that's all we have seen how to connect the database uh, so just uh, go to the page that you want to add it to and uh, go to database and then uh, so Basically, so it's going to be connected with this one. As I think, I believe you have seen it. Okay. So one last thing that I want to show you. Go to this link, uh, indify.co. Uh, you can use it in order to add, uh, let's say, a countdown timer. So since you have a, like, since you have an event that's going to happen in the future, you can show a countdown timer uh, either in the event page or the, uh, like, I don't recommend it, but you can do it in the landing page as well. Uh, but it's, it's just there to make it more interesting. So please go to here. So it's going to ask you to sign up or sign in. Since I'm going to use uh, my Google account. Uh, and of course, it's taking every time. Okay, while that's loading, is everything clear, guys, so far? Are there any questions? Anything that's not clear? Okay. It seems to be clear for most. Okay. If you have any questions, please uh, just ask. Uh, but um, yeah, it's just taking a bit time. It's just wait for a second. Uh, okay, yeah, it's working now. Yeah, so can you see it? So this is going to be your widgets, so you can see it right now. Okay. So here it's going to be your widget, uh, widget app itself. So you can create, uh, you can create, you, you, you can show uh, in uh, live progress bar, or you can show in counter, or countdown, or clock. Uh, you have, you, you can even show them with other widgets so for now let's create a countdown and let's let's give it uh, like uh events let's call it events it's going to create the widgets so here is we're going to ask us for the event uh, title let's say uh graduation and it's going to ask us the time and the date that's going to happen. So let's say it's going to happen in three days, uh, Friday 20. And for the time, let's just add a random time. So it's going to ask us what to include. We want us to include the year, the month, week, date, hour, minutes, and seconds. So we only have day, hour, minutes, and seconds. So these things are automatically uh, disabled. And here you can uh, like allow it to show uh, a go or to go. So if the event has passed, it's going to show uh, a go. And if the event is still ongoing or uh, in the future, it's going to show us uh, to go. Uh, center the text, large text, uh, set background colors. And for the type of the colors, you can change the settings here. Um, so here you can just set change the colors. 
if you want, of course. So for the, the text, you can change it. For the background, you can change. Uh, but this, I think, it's good to stick this uh, black and white. Uh, this is too black, too white. I think it's it's better. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So it's just black. Why is it? Okay, should work with six, but why? Okay. Should work. Okay. That's weird. So zero zero means uh, just knock. So this we don't need to know, know this, but uh, you can directly change from here. This is called uh, hex code, but you don't need that. To know. So, now I think I added to my zeros earlier. That, that's why. But yeah. And uh, here you can also change the colors, uh, show over my menus, and show customize menus. And you can uh, like change the borders and the, like, the size of it. Yeah. So, yeah, if we are happy with it, um, we can here it's we have the, the link to the widgets. So, you can just uh, copy this and go to our page that we want to add the widget to. So here, I'm gonna like you can add uh, embed. Here you should be able to see embed. Why is it yeah embed? And you can just paste the link that you have copied earlier and when you click on in the link it's going to automatically the time so it's going to show the uh, the time to view graduation so which is two days to three hours 45 minutes any seconds to go so uh, you can uh, like it's not a request but like it's not required but you you, you can add it i think it shows uh, like it informs the person that's viewing the event how long they have till the event starts. But yeah, Roy. Roy, uh, if you if you're speaking, yes. Excuse me. Could you please just redo that step? You brought the widget to to what's it called? So uh, yeah, to from which part? To, like. Uh, from copying it or from the start? Uh, just just the last step. I've, I've already gotten all this. It's just how you one. did that. Yeah, just the last step. How you okay. made it appear in the okay. Okay. Yes, I will do it. Uh, I will. Yes, yes. Thanks. Good afternoon. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, I joined this. Please, I don't know if um, help me to uh, recap from the start or the area that we need. Please, I, I joined very late. Can you do that for me, please? Uh, yeah, which part do you want? Uh, and when the yeah, uh, you, you can go, we understand. If you have any questions, uh, you like you can reach out to us on Slack. Uh, yes, uh, I decided uh, which part uh, do you mean? I, I, I think the area of uh, the database, uh, leaking of database, and 
So, you know, that was a, that was a place you're talking about connecting uh, this base and all the people, maybe uh, okay. you use okay. the care of you. So, so I will go to that area. Okay. We can see how we can go on our database and just to answer the uh, uh, spy question. So, uh, so the scheduling that you see uh, that we, uh, what's like what we use in our scheduling for an academy is just board view. It's the same thing as this one. Let me go here. So it's the same thing as you can see here. So it's the board view. Uh, we can see an example. Uh, okay. It's taking time to load. Jake. able to go to this. I don't want to duplicate it here. Sorry, let me just remove this one. But uh, I think it's better to duplicate and see what it is. Yeah. So it's just the border, as you can see. If you take the table, you can see what it's all about. So the, the, the activity name is here, the attending group is here, its location is here, the responsible team is here, the schedule time from what time to up to what, what time is really listed here. The session lead is going to use the session and the link for the session, uh, short description status, and everything that you see are here. So it's just a table that uh, is similar with what we are doing right now, but it's uh, for different. And it's sorted in time, in date. That's what's different. So, is that clear? Uh, that's fine. So. Uh, let me just remove this one just to avoid. Yeah. Okay. And for the question of how we are going to, we can integrate our database. So it's just a backslash or you can click on the plus sign here and look for uh, connect with database. So, yeah, link due to the database, and when you click on that, it's going to ask you which the, the, uh, database you want to link it with. Um, so here you can click on the database that you want to link it with, and it's linked here. So if you see this arrow, it means it's linked with another table. So it's not the table itself. So for the table itself, it doesn't have that arrow. So here, if you see the arrow, it means that it's con connected and everything everything you do here is going to be reflected on the, uh, the original database. So here, if I paint the last name from C to uh, Khan, for example, you can see the change. Sorry, I can't see the arrow, please. You can see what? The arrow. You say that the arrow. Oh, okay. Here, here. Can you see this arrow? Yeah. Right before event. Before event. Okay. Yeah. Here. Sorry. If you are seeing the screen here yeah. before event, you have an arrow. Okay. I'm moving my cursor around it, so if you can see. It. Yes, yes, yes. I can see. I can see. It. Yeah. So, Yes. So this arrow means it's connected with the original database. But here on the original database, you don't have that arrow. You see it? Yes. Okay. 
Yeah, so here it's now it's the original database and here it's a collection. So it's connected with the database. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And for uh, like that's how we saw. Uh, let me just remove this one. And for the last part, we saw how we can like integrate the countdown timer into our motion page. And here, uh, like we created and uh, like a widget called events. And we gave it the title uh, graduation. We gave it the end time where it's going to happen. And we gave it, we just modified the colors and so on and so on. Uh, and then finally, we're going to copy the link that's provided here. So you can see the link here. We're going to copy it. It's going to show that it's called copy it, uh, go to our page and backslash uh, embed. And yeah, it's going to come here. So click on embed and it's going to ask us the link and we, got, we are going to paste the link that we have copied and in the link so it should be available right now yep. so here you can see the, the countdown that, that we have seen you can do you, you can integrate it, this anywhere multiple times and so on so well, I, I have already uh, I have it already in the keyword tasks so I can go to the database and also link it here. So we can run uh, like different in there in different instances at the same time. Yeah. So that's uh, how we embed it. Uh, is that clear, Roy? Uh, yes, it's uh, very clear. Thank you. Okay, okay what about uh, Anderson? Any confusions on how you reconnect? Okay, okay. So, any other questions? Any anything that you want me to go through again or you want to see? Any questions you have? Yes, uh, Okay, thank you, Kiron. It's a nice presentation. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, my question is like uh, when we connect this question with the other tool, like Spark and others, are we going to do the same step like what we have done for uh, 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 the last point, like embedding, just slash embed, then we will copy the link from the Slack or from, from other is it yes. the same or how we can do Yes, it's the same. It's the same. It's the same space. If you want, like for, for, for instance, for this week, you are required to like collect the type form, right? So for the type form, or if you want to connect uh, with it, uh, it with uh, Slack and so on, you will do the same thing. But if you want to connect the notion with Slack, it's different. Like, uh, like connecting Slack with motion and connecting motion with Slack with Slack is different, right? So if you connect, uh, like if you are working on Slack and if you want to connect it with motion and get updates, it's a different method. But if you want to, uh, like if you are working on not motion and get updates from Slack, uh, you do the this is thing. Embed it, but if you have to know. You have to find out if it has uh, that functionality. But it's basically the same. Okay. Any other questions, or is everything clear? Can we wrap up? Uh, is everything clear? <laughs> okay, Roy. Yeah. Yes. Um, thank you so much for the presentation. Uh, is it possible for us to get the recording for this? Um, this uh, for this uh, after 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 this. Of course, of course, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. So it's being recorded. Every session is being recorded. You can see it here.
uh, it's being recorded in. Uh, it will be uploaded in two to three hours from the end of the session. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Carol, thank you very much. It was uh, indeed a nice presentation. This, I just want to get more clarity on uh, on uh, Terefa's uh, question. I'm yet to get it. I think it's a question I also wanted to ask. So if you can come again with the answer to, to his uh, question, how we can actually link notion uh, when we need database from other platforms. I think that was the essence. So if you can come again with the answer, it will be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. I, uh, like uh, you will use the same step as you have used uh, while integrating uh, like uh, Indify with Notion. You will get the link from there, the embedded link, and you are going to go ahead and embed it from uh, to like going to embed and pasting the link here. So that's how you, you're going to do it. If it's a file, you can uh, you know, like upload the file directly. But if you want to embed, you can do it here. So it's the same thing. So you can embed uh, Google Map, Code Pane, uh, drives, a lot of things, a lot of things. So but it's the same posture. It's the same like method you will use. So uh, there is no change there. But what I was telling him was, I think, uh, the confusion uh, that we have created was, uh, if you want to connect Notion to Slack, so if you are work, working on Slack, so uh, let's say uh, you are working on Slack and you want to track uh, like uh, the changes to your file that's, uh, that's available on Google Drive, you will connect Google Drive to Slack right so anything that happens on google drive you you're gonna receive the no notification on slack so if you want to do that the step is different you have to go to slack and go to integrate and you will go to the google drive and uh, sign up and so on but for this case we are connecting other platforms to notion so integrating other platforms to notion so here we are integrating in define with notion and uh, for your project, you're going to be integrating type forms, Notion. So for, the, for those ca cases, you will get the link and embed it. So there is no change there. OK. OK, any other questions? If not, we can wrap up the session. Any other questions? Or uh, is everything clear? Can you show me some thumbs up if, 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 if uh, all is clear? Only one person. Okay. What are what is is it not clear or okay. yes. it's clear? Okay, maybe just start the recording. Uh,